friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather and today I'm gonna be sharing my top five tips or first steps of getting started with your Saint business. So whether or not you are a brand new artist on my team or not, or maybe you are thinking about becoming an artist and you're curious with what those first steps look like in getting started, I am so thrilled to help. So my channel's called Your Saint Mama and I'm here to help anyone and everyone along their Saint journey from thinking about trying the makeup to wanting to earn free makeup using a VIP rewards link to taking the step or taking the leap of becoming an artist. So I'm an artist nine with our company, which means I have helped hundreds of artists start their, their journey with Saint and start a profitable business. And I lead a team of over 4,500 and these principles that I'm gonna share with you are the ones that I see proven to work time and time again, regardless of how you choose to operate your business. So the coolest thing about this business model is there are a million different ways to do it. And you can use social media, you can do it in person. You There's so many different ways of doing it. But these five steps are gonna to apply to you no matter what. And they are ones that I will tell you, if you do all five of them, I will almost guarantee that you will start a profitable business with Saint. And you'll have to let me know in the comments if this is something that you have done and come back and report back if you decide to enroll. So if you wanna learn more about the artist program in general, you can click the link in the comments below, or you can text the word artist to my business cell number, which is 912-405-8912. And if you've already, if you're a customer of another artist or you have already been chatting with another artist, by all means, please enroll directly with her. The coolest part about the Saint Business Model is you will find the perfect mentor in whomever has been serving you well already. I'm just here to help you regardless of if you already have an artist, I still want to be able to help. And if you don't yet have a Saint artist and you're looking for one or you're looking for a mentor, I'm happy to help with that as well. So definitely check out links for more information about the artist program. But let's get started with the first of the top five tips. So the first goal is you're going to want to set a clear goal because you can't hit a target that you can't see of making back your kit investment as soon as possible, preferably within the first month of starting your business. And the reason I say this is I actually have a background as a traditional business owner. So I had a boutique in Savannah, Georgia for over 15 years. And so I understand the that the entire purpose of starting any business, whether it's a big one like that, or whether it's a small one. And I say small because even our kit prices, we have a, the essentials kit, the basic kit, and the pro kit. And even at the pro kit, which is hundreds of dollars, it's still not the tens of thousands of dollars that I use to start my own business. So when I say small business, it's the same in any business that you're going to start. You want your very first goal to become profitable as soon as possible. And the way that you are going to be able to do that is to set that as your very first intention. So set a goal for yourself, number one, that you will do what it takes to make back your kit investment. And the coolest part is we actually have this broken down on our team. We have a little getting started guide that will show you at the very bottom of it. It actually has a little tracker and it shows you exactly what you need in order to break down the, the amount needed to sell in order to make back that kit investment. But it's very reasonable. So I'm going to pop a little picture here so that you can see what I'm talking about. This is a little snapshot of our getting started guide for our team. But essentially, in the United States, if you bought the Essentials Kit, which is $99 in the U.S., if you sell $500, then you are going to make back that kit investment, which is totally doable, especially with the principles that I'm going to share in steps two through five, okay? In Canada, it is $139 for the Essentials Kit, which means that if you sell $700, you will make back your kit investment. So if you bought the Basic Kit, which is $225 in the U.S., that's $750 in what we call SV or your personal sales volume to where you're going to make back that kit investment. Okay. In Canada, the basic kit is 315. And so that means for a thousand dollars in sales, you're going to make back that kit investment. So for the pro kit, which is 450 in the United States, it's going to be up to 1500 in terms of the sales that you will need to make back that kit investment. And in the, in Canada, the pro kit is 630. And that means that if you sell 2100 in SV, that will make back the kit investment. So some of those numbers, they might seem big to you. They might seem small to you. 
but they're absolutely doable. I actually set a goal to go for our highest commission bracket, which is the 40% commission bracket. And that would more than cover getting any of the kit investments back very quickly. So that's a great goal to go for, but at least this gives you a tangible amount. And again, we've got that little handy tracker on our getting started guide for you. So step one is going to be set that goal, set that intention to make back your kit investment as quickly as possible. Step number two is get plugged in and get connected to your team. And what I mean by that is it can be really overwhelming to get started. We use an app called Telegram for my all of my direct artists and for all of our team resources. And I know sometimes it can seem like, oh gosh, I have to download one more app. I'm telling you, the coolest part about this business is we can work it from our phone. We can work it from anywhere. But essentially, our office is also on our phone. And the conference room where we are going to get to know each other, where we're going to get to meet and brainstorm and game plan together is going to be in Telegram for my team. So for your team, it might look like Messenger on Facebook, or I know some teams use Marco Polo. We used to use Boxer. Whatever your team uses, that's where you're going to want to get plugged in because staying close to the fire and getting connected with other artists who are on the same journey as you, that's what's going to make you continue to grow and learn and earn along the way. Okay, so stay close to the fire by getting connected with your team on whatever communication platform they are using. Okay, so that's step number two. Step number three is I want you to create a free party link for yourself as before you even share it with anyone, before you make any, maybe you want to supplement some purchases for yourself and stock on, on some things that maybe didn't come in your kit. Your first step is going to be to set up a VIP link. And I actually do have a video that I will share above that will talk you through or even talk your hostesses through how to the importance of setting up a VIP link, what that looks like. We also have this as a very simple like one minute video on our training website. But this is something that you're not going to want to miss because as an artist, not only do you get paid the commissions, but if someone orders through your party link or your VIP link, as we call them, then you also earn the free makeup. So I earn hundreds of dollars in free makeup every single month just by sharing my party link. So you're going to want to start that. And yes, it's totally legal within safe compliance and corporate. They encourage it because this is a way that you might not even ever have to buy makeup again. So that's step number three is create that free party link for yourself. And that's what you're going to share with potential customers, okay? Step number four, and this is something I'm super passionate about. It's also exactly how I got started in my business with Saint, and that's to get the makeup on five to 10 faces as soon as possible. And what I, the reason I say that, and you might be wanting to completely operate your business online, and that is totally fine, but the best way to learn color matching, first of all, is to try the makeup. You can start with yourself. You can grab if you've got kids in the household. And again, I know I might get some shade for people saying I'm hitting makeup on your children or your husband. <laughs> but the reason you're doing it isn't to try to sell them makeup or trying to beautify them in any way. It's truly really just to learn the shade matching, okay? And it's something you can have fun with your kids. I played makeup with both of my girls when, when I got started. Let's see, that was, I became an artist in 2017. So one was eight, one was four. And it's pretty crazy to think they've grown up with their mama as a saint artist. And definitely we've been playing makeup with them the whole time, okay? So get the makeup on as many faces as possible. And when you set the steps to get outside your family, like maybe inviting some neighbors over, maybe your coworkers, your cousins. I definitely went to a couple trips out of town at the beginning. And I would literally bring my palette everywhere and I would play makeup with anyone who would let me. And you can use the simple words of, can I borrow your face just to play and practice? And the cool thing that's going to happen is you're going to learn the color matching. You can totally wipe it off and start over again if you didn't nail the first color, no big deal. But you're also going to see that people love this makeup and they will love it as much as you do. And that can be one of the most inspiring things for you as a new artist to keep going in the business. So my advice to you is to practice by getting the makeup on five to 10 faces as quickly as you can, okay? And again, it doesn't have to be all in one. In fact, I don't recommend having more than five or six people at any class, even now as an artist myself, because it can be overwhelming and gets a little bit diluted. So it doesn't have to be all together. It can be over time, but five to 10 faces, okay? The fifth and final step and tip, and of course, there's lots of other ways to do it, but this is the one that I've seen work time and time again, and that is to take a before and after, yes, and no makeup, 
and and after saint makeup don't stress about how perfect it is don't stress about if it looks as good as someone else's don't even worry about that okay i use the free layout app to put both of those together okay so before and after and bonus points if you get them like similar with the same lighting you can face a window you guys this is just i don't use any fancy lighting this is just natural lighting facing a window in my house and then it just snap a picture snap another picture put them together with the free layout app host that bad boy wherever you engage on social media so sometimes people get hung up on where do i do that post it wherever you like to consume if that's facebook post it on facebook if it's instagram post it on instagram if it's tiktok go there but what you're going to say with this is you're just going to share what you think about the makeup hopefully you love it as much as we do and you can like and subscribe to my channel if you want more tips of how to fall in love with this makeup because i've got lots of videos that will help you be able to do that but essentially, you are going to just share your thoughts on it. Share what it is that you love about it. Did you love that it was fast? Did you love that it was easy? Were you scared? You can say all of these things. You can be honest with how you're feeling about it. And even ask, what do you think? Do you guys like it? And then the most important thing you're going to want to do is what we call a call to action, which is just a question. You're going to want to ask a question like or something for your people who you're friends with to do next. So the one that I recommend is just let me know if you'd like to be color matched or comment below if you'd like to be color matched. So we call it color match because that's how you're going to find the shades. And again, don't stress about how having to color match. It's not as scary as you think. And again, the best way you're going to learn is by getting the makeup on faces. So go back to step four if you need to. And it, certainly you can send any of the selfies that you do get from people who are interested. You can send it to your saint mama, whether that's me or somebody else, and they will be happy to help you find the right colors. So you are not alone. I still get second opinions on color matches from time to time from my Saint Mama. And so you're in good hands and don't worry, your selfie is safe with us, okay? That is my fifth and final tip is to post your before and after wherever it is that you engage with the question or the, the comment, if you will, of comment below if you'd like to be color matched or let me know if you'd like to be color matched. And those five steps, so setting a goal to make back your kit investment ASAP, getting plugged into the communication platform that your team uses and staying connected and staying plugged in there, creating that free party link so you can earn free makeup while you grow your business, getting the makeup on five to 10 faces ASAP, and lastly, posting a before and after wherever it is that you engage. So let me know in the comments if these are things that you have done and that have worked for you as a say artist and I am so excited to see and hope that this is helpful for you guys. So make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to let me know in the comments what other types of videos that you are interested in learning more about. Hope this was helpful. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.